there is one item out there that is so versatile that it can be used in almost any industry, in any niche, or in any business. Can you guess what it is? Guess what it is. Doctors use them, they give them out. Teachers have them, parents use them. There's one for pretty much any occasion. There's one for almost any show out there. There's literally one of these for anything. Have you guessed it yet? If you guessed stickers, well, then you're right. This video is going to be all about some of the best stickers that you can start selling and where you can source them. Trust me when I say it, some of these suppliers are specific for stickers. So you're going to want to stick around for these because I'm pretty sure that you haven't heard of some of these. Now, I know you're probably thinking, Mario, stickers? Seriously? Yeah, stickers. When I say that stickers can be used in any industry, I mean it. You can use it in literally almost any industry industry. Like I said earlier, doctors give them out to kids. Teachers give them out to their students. Parents have them for their kids. There's different stickers for different occasions. There's some for graduation, for Valentine's Day, for Christmas, for birthdays, celebrations, and much, much, much more. Now, individually, stickers might not really make you a ton of money, but a lot of the times people don't just purchase one sticker. Stickers are usually purchased in larger packs, whether they be 5, 10, 15, 20, 100, 1,000. Stickers are usually purchased in larger amounts. Now, when it comes to stickers, these are the two most common kinds that you're going to find. So these two terms are going to be used interchangeably, primarily because most people don't really know the difference. But when it comes to stickers, there's typically going to be decals and stickers. Now, what's the difference? So a decal is this right here. For the most part, it is going to be single color. It's going to be cut to the size of your design, or it's going to be cut to the actual design itself. As you can see here, it doesn't have any background. It doesn't have any paper around it. It's just the design itself. For the most part, these you're going to find at businesses. You're going to find them on the business windows. It's going to have information on the business, or these are also very commonly used on cars. These are the ones that people use to put their Instagram names, some funny designs, or or just whatever it may be. Now, when it comes to stickers, these are typically going to be full color and they are going to have some sort of background. It's going to be one large solid piece. As you can see here in this C is for coffee or this teacher sticker. It's one big piece with no negative space in the middle. And the design is either printed on there using a basic inkjet printer that you can use at home or a specialty sticker printer. Now, for the most part, stickers are going to be cheaper than decals. The reason is because since there's so much negative space on decals, it takes longer to produce. On top of that, the material for decals is a lot more durable, it's a lot more stronger, and it's a lot more waterproof. But the more generally used type of sticker is going to be this kind of sticker. The basic stickers that you find at a store or that you can find in your online orders that you receive. Now, when it comes to sticker categories and sticker niches. So as I mentioned earlier, there's literally a sticker for any category, any niche, any show, any book, anything that you can think of. They have some that are motivational quotes, some funny sayings, and a lot more. So when it comes to these different categories, you can niche down. Niching down will really help you attract a specific audience, but you're also able to have a generic store selling generic stickers. Now, if you do decide to go that route and start a general store for stickers, I highly suggest that you take the time to really design and make your store look good and be easy to navigate. Like I said, when it comes to stickers, the categories and the niches are absolutely endless. So you're going to have a lot of different categories on there. So make sure that your website or your product page is easy to navigate. It's easy on the eyes. And most importantly, it's well organized. This will all contribute to a better customer experience, making the possibilities of them making a purchase a lot higher. Now, before we continue, if you want access to everything I'm talking about in an easy to reference cheat sheet, all you have to do is go ahead and comment down below hashtag stickers and let me know which one of these kinds of stickers you're planning on selling. Are you going to sell individual stickers? Are you going to sell them in bulk? Are you going to sell customs? Are you going to sell generic? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. I would love to know. Once I see that you went ahead and did that, I'll go ahead and reply back with a link to the sheet. All right. Now, the moment that you've all been waiting for, what are the best stickers for you to drop ship? Well, since there are so many different ones to choose from, these are some of the most popular ones that people are actually actively looking for. And to kick off this list is probably one of the more popular types of stickers. Everyone loves to rep their city, especially people in places like Miami, Las Vegas, New York, Los Angeles, and that's city stickers. So as you can see here, just searching up Los Angeles stickers on Etsy, you can see quite a few different ones. So you have this one right here that just has the basic LA with the palm trees. This is a classic LA look. Looking at the reviews, this item itself has 10 different reviews, all five stars down the line. People love city stickers. Now, aside from that, you also see some NBA ones, which I'm going to tell you right now, do not sell these. Don't even try. Sports organizations will crack down on you if you're using copyright items. These people, these organizations, they do not play. Don't sell their items. But aside from that, they have a vintage Los Angeles travel sticker. This one's really nice. And the store actually has a lot of reviews and a basic Los Angeles sticker. 
Now this one's a sticker because it actually has a white background. That's one of the ways that you can tell the sticker from a decal. But check this out, reviews for this item. This item has 38 reviews. That means a minimum of 38 people have purchased this item. Guaranteed it's been more people since not everyone leaves a review, but that just shows you that a simple sticker that just has the basic city name on it actually sells. Next up we have stationary sticker. Now stationary stickers are your basic cute little stickers. That's really all they are. They're what a lot of people use to put on their stationery. A lot of students use these to put on their notebooks books to put on their laptops on their books so as you can see scrolling through etsy they're all pretty similar in size and one thing that really stands out to me is that nobody is selling single stickers everyone is selling them at a minimum a pack of five but aside from that you can see that they have some pretty unique ones they have some vintage halloween stickers they have some snack stickers which i would advise against selling something like this because you have a brand name on there Kit Kat. but you have some other cool little ones over here resembling some juice some tea and a soda and a bunch of other ones in a third spot we have art related stickers now these stickers are pretty self-explanatory, but they're stickers that are simply going to have some sort of art piece on them, or they're going to resemble some sort of art piece. So looking through Etsy once again, you can see that these stickers all are of paintings, of fish in particular. You have one of a little plant over here. You have the Starry Night sticker with a little bit of editing in it. You have here some people from some pretty famous paintings. Scrolling down, you can see a few other ones. Here's a parody on one with Slay on it. That is, that's not what I thought it was. <laughs> Never mind. You have one here that's actually, this one's really cool. This is pretty unique a color palette as a sticker this is really nice and if you keep scrolling you see a few others that have to do with art they're all related to art in one way or another up next is one of my favorites and that is glow in the dark stickers i absolutely love glow in the dark anything i think it's super cool especially when it's on something like a t-shirt but the next best thing to a t-shirt in my opinion is stickers so when it comes to glow in the dark stickers there's pretty much something for absolutely everything but some of the more popular ones and some of the ones that are more relevant to the glow in the dark theme are going to be things like outer space planet and star stickers. Some that you can stick on the roof, on the walls, or around the entire room. So that way, whenever you turn off the lights, it looks like you're in space. Kids absolutely love that. And so do millennial parents, because these really resemble those stars that we used to put up on our roofs all the time. Ah, uh, nostalgia. Those were the good old days. Next up, we have label stickers. Now, label stickers can come in a few different options. So you have some that the customers can use to print by themselves. So these are typically sticker sheets that you're just going to place in any home printer and simply just print out your stickers on there. A lot of the times these are used as labels to label different things around the house, around the office, or just things that people need to remember. But aside from that, you can also offer things like these right here, which are also label stickers, but that the customer doesn't have to print on. They can simply just write whatever they need on there. You can also offer a holiday version of these kinds of stickers. So when it comes to Christmas time, whenever people give out presents, a lot of the times there's going to be a sticker on there that says to whatever your name is from Santa or from mom, dad, uncle, aunt, whatever it is. These are holiday label stickers. And during the holidays, of course, they do absolutely fantastic especially if you can have some unique ones car stickers are up next and it's actually car decals mainly because people typically use decals for their cars rather than stickers although some people do use stickers decals are more widely used now when it comes to different car decals some of the more popular ones have to be the social media or social handle tags so these are typically going to be just an instagram or a snapchat or a tiktok logo with your customer's social media username now these of course are custom but there are different ways to do this and still dropship. One of them is by simply still using Etsy. Now for this, you're not going to really be able to use automation, but what you're going to do is simply just offer custom decals, tell your customers to let you know what platform it's going to be for and what the text is going to be. Then as soon as you get that information, just go on over to Etsy and place the order yourself. Now, as a quick tip for success, try running hybrid dropshipping stores when it comes to stickers. While generic stickers are still widely sold, people are always looking for them. People are also really wanting custom stickers or custom decals, but split your store into two different categories pretty much the custom and the generic side this will really help you reach a way broader audience and help bring in more customers as well as profits also when it comes to custom decals a lot of the times people are only going to order one or two which at the end of the day you can charge a little bit more for since you're not going to be offering bulk pricing okay so this next one is not necessarily a sticker or a decal but i mean technically it is because it sticks to you anyway so we're talking about temporary tattoos now temporary tattoos are hugely popular especially amongst the kids and during some holidays, such as Halloween. These obviously you can find in almost anything that you can think of. So looking through some of these, you can see that they have some pretty interesting ones like these right here for your face. These are really interesting. These are unique. These could probably make some pretty good money during Halloween. 
And you have some other ones that actually resemble actual tattoos, such as these right here. These resemble your typical black and white tattoos. And then you have a few other ones, such as these that are full color and pretty large pieces. And you even have some glow in the dark ones. Next up, we have custom stickers. Now, just like with custom decals, a lot of the times you are going to have to place these orders individually by yourself through a supplier that you find on, let's say, Etsy. But there is a way that you can offer these in bulk orders or order larger amounts through a supplier like AliExpress. So the first thing you need to do is find a sticker provider. So pretty much just go to any sticker listing and send that supplier a message. Ask them if they can make custom stickers and what their minimum order quantity is. If it's something reasonable, maybe like 10 or 20, then you can simply go back to your customer and tell them that you can do custom stickers for them. The only thing is, is that you are going to have a minimum order of whatever it may be, 10 or 20. And of course, from there, just hike up the price. This next kind of sticker is one that has actually been making waves fairly recently. I've been seeing them a lot on TikTok lately, and I've been seeing people actually make these themselves. Of course, when people make these themselves, they are going to be charging a little bit more. So as drop shippers, we can take advantage of our suppliers over at AliExpress, Etsy, or Amazon and sell them at a better price. On top of that, we can also give some pretty good price when it comes to higher quantities. So just looking on AliExpress and typing in nail stickers. Now, if I didn't mention this before, which I don't think I have yet, I'm talking about nail stickers. Now, when it comes to nail stickers, these are very, very small. So you're not going to just sell one of these. These are going to come in sheets and those sheets are going to have multiple quantities on them. They're going to have different designs or they're going to have the same designs. So scrolling through a few of the different listings here, you can see that this one right here is a few different sheets and they all focus on a different theme. 42 cents. You can offer some avocado nails, some cherries, a mix of the different fruits, what I think looks to be lemons and bunnies, whatever it may be, you're going to be buying different sheets. And those sheets, again, are going to either be in the same theme or they're going to mix and match. Now, one cool thing that you can do with this, one tip for success that I'm going to give you is if you're on Instagram, which if you're not, why are you not on there yet? You need to get on Instagram and you need to have a TikTok to show off your different products. But aside from that, if you're on Instagram, look for different nail salons, look for different people that offer nail services, whether that be painting, cutting, manicures, pedicures, whatever it is. If they offer services for nails, you can message them and offer them these different products. You can offer it to them at bulk prices so they can order more because of course they're going to be using them all the time. Next up, we have 3D stickers. Now these come in a few different types of designs. You can offer different kinds of 3D stickers. So one is these right here. So this looks like there's a hole in the wall and there's a mouse using a toilet. This is a pretty cool sticker. I like it, but this gives the wall or that little piece of the wall more depth. It actually makes it look like there's something in there. It makes it look like there's an actual hole in the wall where a mouse is doing its business. Aside from that, you also have some like these, which are holographic stickers. It's actually a lot easier shown through a video rather than pictures. So you can see here how it looks. Then aside from that, you also have these, which are a bit more true to 3D because they actually pop out. They have a texture on them. They have different curves. So they don't just basically lay flat on whatever surface you stick them on. Now, when it comes to sourcing your different stickers, there's a few different places that you can do so from. While some of the more generic places to order more generic stickers are going to be places like Amazon, AliExpress, Alibaba, DHK, and Walmart, there's also a few other specialty sticker stores that you can use to offer some more unique and custom stickers. Now, of course, each supplier has its own benefit. For one, the first batch that I mentioned, you can benefit from automation. Now, what I'm talking about when it comes to automation is simply the fact that you can automate your entire dropshipping store. So you can automate everything from the product importing. You can simply log into your account over at autods.com, click on add products, put in single product and type in the link to the sticker you want to sell through there. And it'll be automatically imported into your store, ready for you to sell within minutes. Aside from that, whenever somebody places an order in your store, it's going to be automatically fulfilled using AutoDS. Also, any revisions you need to make, any revisions to the title, the description, if you need to edit any of the images, you can do everything from this same platform. As you can see, the benefits of automation are absolutely amazing. It really does make running an e-commerce store practically hands off. But aside from the more generic stores, you also have, like I mentioned earlier, more specialty stores. Now, while you're not going to be able to benefit from automation from these, you are going to be able to offer different and unique products. And the first supplier that I'm going to mention to you is StickerU. Now, StickerU.com offers a little bit of everything. So they offer different types of stickers, they offer labels, they offer decals, and they even offer temporary tattoos. And to give you even an extra bonus, they offer iron-on transfers. What's an iron-on transfer? It's basically just a sticker that you can stick on a t-shirt, apply some heat to it with maybe like an iron or something like that, and it'll stick to the shirt. It's pretty much all you need to do, and you have your own custom shirt. But aside from that, they do offer a few other products, but primarily speaking, we're talking about stickers, so they do have custom stickers as well. Now, these custom stickers, like I said earlier, you are going to have to place in a case by case basis, but you have the option to do some pretty unique things. Like look at this one right here. It has the nurse sticker and that is, as you can see, 
actually cut out. It's cut out to the shape of the sticker itself or the sticker design. This type of cut is called a die cut, simply meaning it's just cut around the image itself. It's cut to the shape. Aside from that, you have the kiss cut stickers, which are basic squares, rectangles, circles, triangles, and you have a few other different options. So they have the holographic ones, they have glitter stickers. And best of all, the last thing I do want to mention is that you're not just going to find small stickers on here. You're going to find some basic tiny ones to some pretty large format stickers that can take up a whole car door or that you can stick on a wall. Next up, we have one of my favorite sticker providers, and that is Sticker Mule. Now, Sticker Mule offers pretty much every single type of sticker that you can imagine. They offer everything from regular stickers to labels, magnets, and they actually have a unique one that our last one didn't have, and that is packaging tape. Now, packaging tape can still be considered a sticker because it does have a sticky backing. Now, this is something pretty unique that you can offer that a lot of places don't offer. Custom packaging tape is something that a lot of businesses use. Now, another supplier that you can use when it comes to printing out custom stickers is going to be a print on demand supplier. For these, you have a few different ones to choose from, but two of the most popular ones are going to be Printify and Printful. Now, when it comes to Printify and Printful, of course, you're not limited to just stickers. You can print pretty much anything you need. But to give you an idea, you can see that they have kiss cut stickers. They have die cut stickers, which I'm pretty sure you all know, but these are the ones that you put at the back bumper of a car towards the bottom. They have magnets. They have sticker sheets, so you can offer sheets with multiple different stickers on them. And they also have vinyl stickers, holographic stickers, and pretty much specialty stickers. Now, the cool thing about using a print on demand service is that you're not going to have a minimum order quantity. If you want to just order one sticker for just one or two dollars, you can do so. And the last provider I'm going to give you for this video is going to be Merchise. Now, Merchise is another print on demand supplier, but they're not as big as, let's say, Printify or Printful. Their quality control is a bit more centered. It's more in house since they do all of their printing themselves. They're not outsourcing it to different printers around the country. So, because of that, they do offer some more simple controls, but they do offer some pretty high quality stickers. So, as you can see, these right here come in a few different sizes. They have from 3x3 all the way to 12x12. They have three different tiers. And if you scroll down a little bit, you can see a few different shipping times. So in the US, they ship pretty quick between four to seven business days to Europe, 10 to 20 business days. And to the rest of the world, it's anywhere between 10 to 25 business days. Uh, for those of you that don't know, RO stands for rest of the world. I didn't know that myself. I literally just Googled that. So FYI. Aside from that, though, they do offer some larger stickers. So they offer large, medium and small ranging from 7.8 by 11.8 inches to 15.7 by 19.6 inches. Now, I know that a lot of the people watching this right now are not in the US, so you you all don't work with inches. So for those of you that don't know how big these measurements are, Mr. Video Editor, please put the conversion right here. We totally appreciate your work, sir. Thank you. And those were some of the best stickers that you can start selling along with some of the best places that you can start sourcing your stickers from. Huge thank you to all of you for watching, especially if you made it all the way to the end. As always, it truly means the world to me that you watch the entire thing. Huge thank you for watching. Huge thank you for sticking all the way to the end with us. Remember, if you want access to that cheat sheet, all you have to do is simply just go ahead and comment down below, hashtag stickers, and let me know what kind of sticker you're planning on selling. Are you going to sell decals? Are you going to sell basic stickers? Are you going to sell stickers for certain occasions? Or are you going to be selling generic stickers? Let me know down in the comments below. I would love to hear your feedback. Once again, huge thank you to everyone for watching. My name is Mario with AutoDS, and I'll catch you all next time.